Friday Five, You're right here on the Daily Tip, of course, right, Falcon? Give it up. Give it up for hard-bodied, smooth Falcon. Sticking to his diet regimen. Working out on a regular basis. Look at him, right? Yeah. Full of himself. Totally full of himself. Um, we, here at the, at the Daily Tip, slash Friday Five, but at the Daily Tip, had some technical difficulties past couple of days. I don't know what happened. I don't know how our very illustrious budget got away from us and uh, caused some of these technical difficulties. As a matter of fact, suspiciously, they happened after I forgot Sherry's name and Elizabeth's name from The View and also uh, messed up Craig Ferguson's name and called him Craig Kilborn. Suspiciously. Shortly thereafter, even though I made amends, and I apologized. Let's see how it goes today. Today on the Friday Five, my top five tips on dealing with a fireplace mantle. I get these questions all the time. I really do. I know I say this all the time, that every time something comes up, I say, I get these questions all the time. But I do. There is a list of about 20 questions that come up constantly, and they're always rotating. But it's the same ones, usually. And one of them is flat. Fireflies. I get questions about fireflies all the time, and my answer is, why not fireflies? Don't hate. Love. Uh, fireplaces also is the other question, and their mantles. Uh, before we get to the Friday Five, uh, it's Friday. How you doing? Are you having a great week so far? Are you looking forward to the weekend? Are you planning your awesome, awesomeness Mondays? Are you sending them in? Yes, you are. I have so many. Keep sending them, though. Uh, AngeloHome.com, click Ask Angelo, you know the deal. And I am coming back from my tour in the Midwest uh, today, Friday, tonight, today at night. So these were taped in advance, I apologize for that. That's why they cannot be topical, because I want to speak, as I told you earlier in the week, about the closing ceremonies at the Olympics. I haven't seen them yet. I will be viewing them tonight, because I'm taping this on Sunday, last Sunday. And I will be delayed in my reaction to them. So, oh well, that's how it goes. And I had something else, but of course I forgot what it was. So, we're just going to get to the Friday Five. Okay, top five tips for decorating your mantle. Number one, add one big piece and mix up the artwork and mirror style and or mirror to contrast with the style of the fireplace slash mantle. This is so easy to do. Because if you are going traditional in your mirror or artwork above your fireplace mantle, uh, that would be a great contrast to obviously a very contemporary or modern mantle fireplace and vice versa. That contrast with just one big uh, focal piece is fantastic. It draws attention to what already should probably be the focus point of the room, uh, but it also makes it really, really interesting. So it's a really simple thing to do and just go with one big piece and go Go big. Don't go small. Always go big. And it makes for an amazing focal point. Number two, add color to the wall and repeat the theme. So just by adding color to that fo uh, focal wall where the fireplace and mantle are, all of a sudden really accentuates your fireplace and mantle, especially if you've got something really beautiful going on, ornate or a great piece of architecture, and you want, and you want to showcase it. Color instantly does that. And then once you put color on the wall, just as you can see with the examples that we've got here going on with the visuals, uh, you can then find a theme in terms of whether it is accessories or artwork or frames and then repeat that theme. Because it's a simple color theme repeated on the color focal wall <laughs> uh, makes for a bold statement and it looks really gorgeous and it looks like you know what you're doing. It's like a designer was there. It's amazing, it's gorgeous, it's good times. Number three, Layer, 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 layer. Go from very big to very small. And here's the key about layering on your mantle in the fireplace, is that if you uh, are unsure about layering different styles, different um, textures, different colors, stick with one. And, and maybe stick with a frame color or a, uh, or a vase color and then just repeat that color just in different sizes. It's an easy way to layer and it makes it really, really interesting. Now, if you're very adventurous, you can always play with different colors and textures uh, of different things. And I would say, you know, I lean more towards go the adventurous route because 
accessories are so easy to stick in the back of your car and take them back if they don't work or use them in other parts of the house. So it's not like trying to return a sofa. Um, you know, experiment with it. But layering and sizing, huge impact on a mantle. And number four, be seasonal with your mantle. You can change it up. Change it from uh, the time of year, from light and airy in the spring, to moody and rich tones in the fall, and then of course the holidays. This is great because the mantle is such a perfect place for you to experiment with decor and of course change it up based on the time of year and the holidays and all that fun stuff. And it also sets a theme for the rest of the room that the fireplace and mantle are in. So be bold, be exciting, be daring, try something different, and use what you already have. You know, in the spring you can use a lot of clear bases, go out to your backyard or to the yard and uh, some, some fresh clippings, maybe even a couple of potted plants. Uh, some pine cones in the fall and winter. You can bring in nature onto your mantle along with, uh, with holiday themes and some accessories that you have to really uh, to make it your own. Number five, no mantle you say? Do you have outdated brick? Well paint the brick a crisp, clean white, semi-gloss of course, then hang just a really big simple piece of artwork or a large mirror. Um, I, you know, I'm not opposed to brick. I like brick. I like the way brick looks. But uh, sometimes, especially in more contemporary homes or homes that are sort of uh, kind of they've got one foot in tradition, one in traditional, one foot in, in contemporary, and they're not sure what they are, and then there's this big, dated, red, 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 shiny brick fireplace in, in the living room. And it doesn't seem to match anything else you've got going on. You know, and ripping it out could be pricey and expensive, or resurfacing it could be pricey and expensive and time consuming. Painting it, not so much. Really simple, really easy. And just going crisp, clean white instantly updates the look. And then if you have a non-working fireplace, don't be afraid to use the, the fireplace insert for, for plants, for flowers, for votive candles, for big pillar candles, uh, and then the big piece of artwork on the fireplace front after you painted it. Stunning! Gorgeous. Good times. Updates the room instantly. Hopefully you saw some visuals here while I was talking about all this and it inspired you to do something fun and exciting with your mantle. Uh, please keep your questions coming. There are a ton of questions for me to answer on uh, AskAngelo at AngeloHome.com. I cannot answer them here on the Daily Tip because they are, they are involved. And so I already ramble. You don't want more rambling. Uh, so I will answer them on the webpage uh, soon. Very, very soon, I promise. But if you have succinct, quick questions uh, that require succinct, quick answers, I will talk about them right here on the Daily Tip. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. And by us, I mean the Falcon and I. And, uh, yeah, have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. And uh, that's it. See you guys Monday. Right here on the Daily Tip. So the Falcon and I, I'm going to blame this totally on you, totally on you, um, apparently did not stop, look and listen, for the uh, Friday Five theme music. And the editor is going to get really upset, really upset because, like I said, our budget goes there. And so I had to stop, look and listen, we both do, for the Friday Five theme song music before we get into the Friday Five. So here's our moment of... That's right. That means it's the Friday Five. <laughs> doesn't get any darker than this, people. Just doesn't. You love it, right? You do. Who doesn't love it? Everyone doesn't love it. Okay, we're out of here.